Another way to create materials in SketchUp is to start with a photograph. This photo was taken by my friend Richard Truman while he was on a trip in Mexico, and I'd like to use this painting on the wall in a SketchUp model. So I'm going to switch over to SketchUp and create a rectangle that more or less represents the painting. Now I'm not exactly sure of the aspect ratio, so I'm just going to estimate it. And I'll pull the painting away from the wall a short distance. Then I'll create a new texture by opening the materials window. I pressed B to activate the paint bucket tool, and that automatically opened the window. Then I can go right here and say new texture. And I'll select the image, which will be the source of this information. I'll open it. We're prompted to select a size, and I'm not exactly sure, so I'm just going to say OK. Now we have a new material here that's based on that photo. I'll select it, and then assign it to this surface. I'll zoom in, and I'm just going to close the materials window so we can get it out of the way. I want to focus on the painting, so it's necessary to change the texture coordinates to zoom into that area. Right click and choose Texture Position. Use the green push pin to scale the texture. And then use the red push pin to drag it back over. I have to go back and forth a few times because I need to scale it up so much. And I may need to zoom out so I can see the push pins way down in the corner. I'll exit the navigation mode and return to the texture editing mode. I'll keep doing this until the painting is about the right size. And then I'll right click and choose Done. I'll zoom in a bit here and use the Push Pull tool to make the frame a little bit closer to the aspect ratio of the actual painting. Now it's a bit askew because of the way that this wasn't completely orthogonal to the wall. And this would be typical of any photograph. Fortunately, SketchUp can compensate for this type of distortion. Right click and choose Texture, Position. Right click again, uncheck Fix Pins Mode, which is how we've been editing the texture up to this point. Now we're in Free Pin Mode, and you can't really tell because the pins are off the screen. I'm going to zoom out, exit the navigation mode. And you can see the pins are out here at the corners of the original image. I'm going to pick them up by clicking and placing them down on the edges of the frame. And I'm not being very accurate here because I'm just pulling them in a bit closer at this scale. And actually, it might be helpful if I go into an orthogonal view. I'll press Command-6. And so now we're looking at it dead on. Pick up the pins and try to be as accurate as possible by placing the little point of the pin on the corner of the picture. OK, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag the pins to the corner of the geometry. And this actually distorts the pixels so that they fit precisely on the geometry. When you're done, you can right click and choose Done. And now we've very accurately stretched and mapped the pixels in free pin mode onto this geometry. I'll go back into the material window, use the magnifying lens to sample some of the color of the frame, and then I'll color that onto the sides of the frame. I'll just use the push pull tool to push this back a little bit to make it more realistic. And there you have it. A painting taken directly from a photograph and mapped onto geometry in SketchUp. I'd like to show you a technique for creating texture maps that simultaneously have a color overlay. To start this process, I'm going to go over to Photoshop, create a blank document, and then add a pattern fill layer. In the Pattern Fill Library, you can select Texture Fill 2, and you'll get these grayscale libraries of various textures. I'll select a pattern like this, 
and decrease the scale in this case so that I can see more of the pattern on the screen at once. I'll set this to exactly 50% to have it be in sharper focus. I'll go ahead and flatten the image so that we have nothing but pixels, and then I'll save it and I'll call it Weave JPEG. OK, let's go back to SketchUp. Press B to activate the paint bucket, create a new texture, and select the Weave JPEG. This will work with any grayscale image. I'll say OK to select the default size, select that material, and then assign it to the wall. OK, I want to colorize it. If you go ahead and select a color, and then click on the wall, it replaces the texture, and that's not my intent, so I need to undo. Instead, the secret is to double-click on the grayscale texture to open it for editing. And while this mode is open, you can then select a color that will colorize the grayscale texture. In this way, the ultimate material is a combination of the color and the texture. And so we can get a whole variety of different wallpapers out of this particular grayscale texture.